past three years, the Stand at Attention competition has taken place over at La Palmera Mall. The competition is a mission to end veteran suicide. Sunrise reporter Chelsea Torres is live at La Palmera Mall. So Chelsea, tell us more about this challenge. Well, Priscilla, when you're out uh, shopping this weekend here at La Pamera. If you just walk right down this hallway through those front doors near the center court, you'll see a group of guys standing at attention throughout the entire day. Now, this competition is not only held here in Corpus Christi, but throughout the entire nation. And all of the donations from this competition go to Active Heroes, which is a nonprofit organization that helps prevent veteran suicide. About 7,300 veterans commit suicide annually. That's 20 veterans every single day. They already served their country, but they shouldn't have to feel like there's nothing that they can do to stop the pain. We need to give them something, uh, reassure them that we're listening, we will do whatever it takes to help them and stop this trend. For 12 hours, one person from each branch will see who can stand at attention the longest while taking donations. The last branch standing wins. If all men are still standing, the title goes to whoever has the most donations, which are then sent to Active Heroes to provide services for veterans and their families. This gives them the opportunity to go ahead and seek counseling or pay for things that they might need, treatment, uh, resources. Sometimes they, they're allowed to go on retreats with their family. The first stand at attention competition took place in Corpus Christi four years ago. Jason and others like him hope that through more awareness and activism, younger generations seek help if they ever face the thoughts of suicide. You want them to know that they're not going to be left out there flapping in the wind, that they're going to actually have a resource dedicated to them to get help. Now you can see that stand at attention competition this Saturday starting at 8 p.m. right here at La Pamera Mall. And I'm told that every single year so far, the Army branch has been the one that's won with the most donations. And I'm also told that no man or woman has ever come out of standing at attention the entire time. Now, good news is they do get breaks after every hour, uh, but you can assume that it's a pretty grueling situation, but it's all for a good cause. Mike, Priscilla, 